Welcome back. I know I owe Last we have 10 gold. Left off, our party had managed to get through the repelling portal, and we're heading down some stairs. I assume you're heading down the stairs? After kicking yes. the corpse one more time, but yes. The roar of the roar of churning water fills this massive chamber, which is some 70 feet across. The floor drops away uh, for most of the length into a vast pit of surging seawater, amid which rise several stony pillars. Uh, the sides of these pillars are jagged, but the tops are relatively flat, and they're covered with strips of seaweed and seething with crustaceans while being constantly splashed from the waves below. Is there a ceiling? Yeah. That's suspicious. Well. At the risk of repeating history. Oh, I time. volunteer as tribute. I'm going to climb up this wall, go up onto the ceiling, and start slowly and cautiously making my way across this shit. And you have a way to climb on ceilings? I have a climb speed. Does that not work the same way? Uh, let's double check. Oh, I think this is going to work because he's trying to find ways to stop it. <laughs> that's, that's not my style. I just want to see how it actually works. 310. I don't think it works that way. Climb speed. A climb speed allows you to climb up or down inclines and vertical surfaces. Instead of needing to roll athletics checks to climb, you automatically succeed and move up to your climb speed instead of the listed surface. Might still have to attempt athletics to climb in hazardous conditions, to climb extremely difficult surface surfaces, or to cross horizontal planes such as ceilings. There. You can Those also choose to roll in athletics to climb rather than accept an automatic success. Does it give you a bonus you get or anything? Plus four circumstance, I think. Correct. Yeah, plus four circumstance bonus. If you want to attempt to climb across the ceiling. Alright. Would I know what the DC is? So I can do some math? Mm, I'm going to have to figure that out. Okay. Well, get back to me on that, because I'm going to give it a go. Before you go! Take this into this rope! And it's an athletics check, you say? Yep. Okay, what's my athletics? I'm going to hand you an end of the rope. Okay. Because we're gonna have to get the wizard across somehow. Did, did how, I get hit by a dispel? Did I get hit by a dispel at some point? Because if not, I should still be flying. That flies only no. for a minute. Oh right. Unless That's you right, did I the more. heightened fly, which lasts longer. Yeah, I, I was under a one-hour fly. Yeah, that's still going then. Okay. Well then. Cool icon, so I don't forget about it. Did we get rid of our drain? No, we did not. Thought I hit someone with that. Mm -mm. We decided it would be a waste of resources. Ah. Let's say it's ceiling's 20 feet up. The ceiling's 20 feet up? Okay. <coughs> and what, can I gauge how difficult this would be? Uh, it just looks like stone. Okay. Well, all right. I have a I have a sixteen athletics. Can I tell whether or not this would be something I'd be able to do? Uh, yes, those look like you could. Okay. Contrary wise, uh, what's going on with this wall here or this wall over here? Uh, they look like walls. Uh, looks like as they reach the water line, there's some undertow moving water in and out of this place. Not like an opening or a sea cave kind of thing. Okay. Alright, so you have the safest way to go cheat at this. I say we give your cheat a chance. See if anything hops out. Hops out at you while you're flying, you can fly back. If I happen to be climbing, I'm fucked. 
So you go first. I was going to suggest that I try flying across <coughs> first anyway. Good, I'm glad we're on the same page then. Um, I'm gonna make a point of flying between the pillars, not over any one of them. Okay. Just in you case. Fly uh, across without incident. Cool. Uh, is there an opportunity to examine these pillars closely as I'm passing by? Uh, they look. Uh, let's see. I spot any traps or triggers. They look kind of unstable, like they shouldn't be able to hold their weight up, yet they are. Hmm. If you use the pillars, uh, do be careful, they look unstable. Why wouldn't let me carry something small, would it? Uh, it depends on the bulk. What are you trying to carry? How much does it got? Does, uh... Our friend over here, why? Uh, they have that in here somewhere. It's almost like they were expecting this kind of thing. I have yet to meet someone who used the fly spell and not try to carry someone eventually. Oof, all sorts of dropped frames tonight. Internet, why do you hate me? See if you can check out these walls. Oh, I'll Very take a cursory exciting. glance, but uh, I'm no trap finder. I don't want to set anything off. Just looking for anything obvious. I sworn they had an entry for that. Oh crap, I'll be right back. No! Something abrupt. Okay, here we go. Uh, no, that's for if you are tiny or small. I'm going to say that a small-sized creature is probably about 7 bulk, a medium-sized creature about 10 bulk. Yeah, with my strength, that's nowhere near in my realm of carrying ability. I think I can make it. Okay, sorry. Well, if uh, worst case to worst, I could always uh, spend a few moments and prepare a fly spell for you. Wait, is she jumping? I think I can make it. That's clearly what they want you to do. I know that is clearly what they want us to do. But my boots that we just got are on cooldown still, because the guy used it. So my other option is to jump. Otherwise... Uh, boots could be used like X minutes per day or something. Am I misremembering that? Uh, let me look. Slip what is it called? Spider climb. Uh, slip oh, spider climbing. It was the cloak of the Monty Bank, which I have, which technically I could use here, but I'm not gonna. Slippers of spider climbing. Yeah, uh, once it's activated, it can't be active again for 10 minutes. Oh, interesting. So, yeah. Because he used them, I have to wait 10 minutes before I can use them. Oh, and I don't think it's been 10 minutes since we killed him. No. Alright, let's do this. So you're just trying to go across? Yeah. Okay. That is... 
is... Uh, long jumping is athletics. Uh, you could also use acrobatics if you just wanted to try and go pillar to pillar. That's what I want to do, buddy. Alright, let me roll that. Oh, wait. Hang on a second. There. I'm misreading this slightly. Okay. Uh, so... Okay, so you're actually jumping using normal rules, and then you make an acrobatics check to try and get the landing on one of these things. Okay, so I have to make a athletics check first? Uh, yes, unless you have some other means of jumping. No, nope. alright, so I'm gonna back up and get my 10 minute... Uh, my 10 feet jump to jump on the Which first Which one pillar. are you aiming for? This one. Uh, oh, you Actually, just... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I'll back up 10 feet and then run and jump. So, okay. Uh, first. Well, a jump that short, you have no issue clearing the distance. So make okay. an acrobatics check. And you land, uh, get the landing just fine. Okay. So you are standing on that one now. Can I just keep going then? Like, keep using my momentum to go, 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 go? Sure. Uh, just... If you're, if you're going one by one, another acrobatics each one. Okay. So, my next one. Alright, you're still good. Okay. Still good. And with that one... Uh, oh, whoops, I forgot about that. Well, it doesn't really matter at this point. You slide off of the slick surface and are in the churning water. Of course I am. Can I try to break my fall? Grab the edge of it? Uh, yeah, I think grab the edge is like an immediate action. Or a reaction, that's what they call them now. Uh, is that athletics or acrobatics? Uh, pull up skills. Yep, it's acrobatics. Okay, cool. Grab it. 37. Uh, let's see. Alright, so you're hanging off of the edge at the moment. Yeah. So I'm like there. Alright, cool. I'm gonna pull myself back up on top of it. Okay. Now, the problem is now I've lost all my momentum. And at this point, uh, a wave of spray and water uh, washes up over you. You can make an athletics check. Okay. Make sure I don't have anything. Nope, I didn't grab any of that. Cool. Uh, 16. Nope. And you are flung back again into the water. God damn it, Jim. I, I suppose you could make another grab the edge. Yeah. And you do so. <laughs> All right. Pull myself back up. Give a glare at the water. Are you enjoying your bath? Are, are, are either of the other two doing anything during this time, or just watching Chuckling. her? Training an arrow on her. Chuckling I, mostly. You know, we're, we're, I'm just watching her progress, getting ready to throw this rope that she gave me at her. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna jump to the next one. Okay, acrobatics. God damn it! And again, you're just Try like to grab sliding the edge. off the edge of it. Nope. And this time, you are in the drink. Uh, are either the other two doing anything when this happens? Uh, that's too far for me to throw a rope. I'm gonna she's in start stealing this wall over here. Okay. So I can make my way across up the, uh, along the wall, maybe. Uh, you can effectively take a turn of actions if you want. Okay, so... I think I get... Hold on. 
forgot how much climb speed this gives me. I think it's like a half of my half my speed, but I want to make sure it's not a quarter. In the meanwhile, Davern will float down a little bit towards the water, not enough to, to get wet or to run into the pillars or anything, and he'll reach forward and cause a, a spectral hand, a mage hand, to appear uh, slightly above Amma, and the hand is just going to clap slowly. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. What a dick. Right? How are you enjoying your bath? It's about time. I understand that this is a pretty quick rapid, right? Oh, what now? It, it's a pretty quick, quick rapid. Like, yeah, there's there's spray going all, all everywhere in there. Okay. Yeah, well... Sorry, I still haven't found this fucking thing. Uh, are you doing anything that will interact with Amma this round? Yes, maybe. Okay. Uh, it depends on... Okay, equal to half your land speed. So, I got 20. So, I'm going to 5 foot and then attach myself to the wall. And then climb around this corner. And... So, it's... And... That's probably what I could make it, I'm assuming. Like 15 feet. Okay. With the five foot there. And I'm gonna try and throw that rope at her. Alright, uh, I guess make a uh, untrained ranged attack. So level minus four plus dex. What level am I? 14, I think. Yes. Alright, you, you throw the rope to her, no trouble. Okay. Uh, so Emma, what are you doing? I'm gonna try to catch the rope. Okay. So action to grab a hold of the rope. Okay. Hold on to that rope nice and tight. Um. How, how like how badly is the, the the water pulling at me? It's churning quite violently. All right. Could I use the rope to guide myself so I go to this pillar and? And be able to pull myself up on that pillar? Possibly. So it is athletics to swim. Of course it is. Uh, 16. Alright, you managed to do so. Okay. Can I, do I pull myself up on the pillar or just I'm at the pillar? Uh, it's be another athletics to try and climb up the pillar. Cool. Uh, so action to catch the rope, action to swim over here, and then I guess I'm just chilling here. Okay. Uh, other two, you can take a round worth of actions. Oh. I'm gonna go ahead and make my way across over here, holding onto the rope. If I see anywhere in the wall where I could like brace the rope, you know, let's hook it on. Okay. I'll just fly over there and kind of like lift the rope up over the pillars as he's moving along so it doesn't get snagged. Okay. Otherwise, just move it along with him. Alright. Uh, Emma. Um, see what they're doing. I'm just gonna hold onto the rope tight, you know, wrap it around my waist. Okay. So you're securing it with one more action there. Yep. And then I'm gonna hold on to this pillar and the rope and wait for him to go to the other side to pull me out. Alright. Um, would you like to spend an action trying to make sure you're above water? Yes, please. I didn't that know would that be athletics. Is, is that a thing? <laughs> uh, you, you lose your grip slightly and are underwater at the moment. But I still uh, have the rope. So you can hold your breath for a number of actions equal to your constitution score. Actions? Or... Actions. Damn. Hold on, or... hold on. Hold on. Let me let me do the math on that. So let's say I'm a dude and my my constitution is ten. That means I can hold my breath for, for ten three actions. rounds at plus 
one extra. For 18 seconds. Uh, now, if you take the deep breath action prior to going under, you can stay double that. Right, but that... 18 seconds. <laughs> Think, think about it like if you're already running around mid-combat and like you're already out of breath and you get dunked mid-breath without actually having to inhale. How long can you now, hold that non-breath? On top of this, you know, your your athletes have skill feats which vastly increase that number. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> That's way different from Pathfinder 1. Alright, cool. So I'm holding uh... my breath. And Renneth, uh, a wave washes up and uh, tries to dislodge you. You can make an athletics check with your plus four circumstance bonus from being... Athletics with plus four? Mm-hmm. Is that including the plus four? Yes. Uh... If that fails, I quit. My apologies, they changed all the DCs, so I'm looking through the update thing. Let's see which one is which. Is that one? Is that one? Nope, you stay stuck to it. Okay. Uh, you, so you, pull me out. You, you two above can take a round worth of actions at this point. I'm gonna hop off a wall over here. Yep. And Davern uh, hovers down to, to around his height and helps him pull. Yeah, and I'm just gonna start dragging her towards me. Alright, you can make an athletics check to aid another. Oh, with the... So she's still gotta pass the swimming thing? Right, but you're aiding her. But yeah, it's like a plus two, right? Uh, let's see if you can. I'm dragging, a, dragging her with a rope. You can do this to unconscious people. I don't know if you do. Know. Let's just see how it works. There might be too much simulation this to my game list. I'm sorry. Possible. I'll, I'll chill out. Uh, looks like a <laughs> plus four because you're high level, so doing this is a lot easier for you. All right, uh, Goblin, who is underwater. Yeah, I feel the rope go tight, right? Yep. I'm going uh, to pull myself along that rope, keep holding my breath. Okay. Uh, athletics, I guess. Yep. That sucks. How far do I get? Is that including their bonus or not? Not including their bonus, sorry. Okay, so you swim as a normal action. Did you okay. want to go that way, or did you want to just go towards the shore? I want to go towards the shore. Uh, and how fast does swimming go? Uh, I remember it being abysmally slow. Like, it wasn't I as bad as first square. edition. Swim! Uh... Uh, so Five feet is, horizontally. Uh, if your speed is 15 or greater, it's 10 feet. And if your speed is 60 or greater, it's 15 feet. Alright, so here's 10 feet. I'm at the edge. Alright, that was one I, action. Can I stand up? Like. Uh, I mean, you're, you're down in the water. You still need to. Oh, so drag it's like a cliff out. edge. It's yeah. a cliff edge. Okay. Then, yeah, I will drag myself out and up onto the cliff. Uh, and did Davern... Oh, you did make an athletics. Uh... Oh, Davern is actually not terribly helpful, so this one will just be raw. So I need to make another roll? Mm-hmm. And you managed to drag yourself up. It's soggy for wear. Water back! And I proceed to shake myself like a dog. Ah, get the off! I always knew goblins didn't like water, but I never realized it was quite to that degree. The water oh. tried to kill me! It's water. It doesn't have a mind of its own. 
So says the wave that swept me off the pillar. Oh, well, do you want to jump back in there and hit it? No. Then let's go on. Alright, I'm a stealth. I'm Same. A let's be sneaky. Did I press a digitate her dry or something? Hey. And it's one of the right, listed She's going to that edge, I'll come to this edge and peek around the corner stealthily. Okay. Uh, let's see. With my hood up. That's a mirror, uh, I'm gonna look directly into it. Uh, this large room is empty, save for a number of uh, iron frame, ten foot wide mirrors. <laughs> directly into it. No! Okay. okay. Uh, this is, that's all I can see from where I'm at. Pretty much. So uh, de detecting here. magic at will. Is anything magical about these? Uh, let me read how oh, it's gonna be a laser thing. Okay. All right, this is another fine. puzzle. I'm gonna step forward so I can see the rest of the room. Yeah, of course it is. Um, it's been puzzles. Okay. Uh, Ranith, make a reflex save. Okay. Uh, uh there. Also improved evasion. Okay. Uh, Um, so you're detecting magic. Does that actually tell you? Finder 2 looks like it's a 30-foot aura instead of cone. Uh, it detects... Uh, this is Haydn to 3. You learn the school of magic for the highest Not level magic. Four. What's that? Not Haydn to 4? I thought you were level 14. No, this is, ra this is racial. This, is, this one's racial from being a gnome. Uh, there's definitely magic coming off of all of these mirrors. Okay. Are they all one directional? Like, is there a back to these mirrors? Uh, I mean, from what you can see where you are, uh, you see a reflective surface pointing this way off of this one, pointing this way off of this one, pointing this way off of that one, that way off of this one. If you're pointing, you're on a different layer than we are. Oh. My <laughs> apologies. Uh, so you see a reflective... Yeah. Reflective surface on this one is pointing that way. This one is pointing this way. This one's pointing this way. This one's pointing this way. This one's pointing this way. And this one, you just see kind of a matte area, but it looks similar to the other ones. You assume it's pointing that way, but you can't really see it. So, but nothing happened when I looked into it. Uh, there was kind of a, a jolt kind of like a, a VHS fast-forwarding, like a bit of static around you. But I feel fine. Mm-hmm. Okay. How, how tall are the mirrors compared to the ceiling? Uh, the ceiling is 10 feet tall, the mirrors are 10 feet tall. I think you should go and take a better look at these mirrors so before we, like, really get in here question is, what hap why do you have to make a reflex save? What happened? Apparently I made it? it. I'm assuming that the reflex save was for the whatever the mirrors do. Yeah, I, I just didn't know, like, was there an outward appearance of something happening, or? Yeah, as I said, like a little bit jolt. of static, looks like a like a, a, a jolt in the air around him or her. I appreciate your gender pronoun respect. Mirrors are evil! They hold nasty things inside that smile back! Dav, go look at those mirrors. I want to know what they do before we go back in there and whether I'm going to make some more reflex saves. I'm considering. Give me a moment. I'd like to cast a visibility upon myself. Okay. And can I step 
over here around this corner without getting in front of this mirror from the stairs? Um, I'm going to say an acrobatics would be needed for that. I'll, I'll make the attempt. Gonna have to contort yourself. Moder roll. You can just roll. All right, you think you squeeze yourself past it. Okay. Looking at this mirror from the, the back and the side without standing in front of it, what can I determine with my arcane senses? Uh, what do your arcane senses normally do? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Is there anything that the Detect Magic told me? School uh, Magic I told or... you to... Detect Magic, let's see. Two one three on the PDF. Oh, School of Magic... Uh, school. I'm gonna go with conjuration. Huh? All right. Um, I'm gonna slip behind the mirror if there's room enough to do so. Yeah, you're a gnome. Okay. I'm gonna work my way down over this way. Okay, this one is definitely facing south over here. All right. And. Keeping as far away from the face of this mirror as possible. I want to come up this way. And go around. Okay. Uh, you see a corridor and some stairs leading down. Okay. Did it, Did any of the mirrors seem to, to react to my presence? Not that you could tell. Okay. Using message from here. Communicating to both of them quietly. Well, it's... I don't know if it's my invisibility. Could be just my, uh, excellent evasion skills, but... I think if you go to the far wall, that would be to your left, not your right. Work your way behind the mirrors as much as possible. Seems to be safe enough. Okay. I'm gonna... up here... with, uh... Emma. Well, I'll let her take lead. Okay. Uh, first off. Okay. One second. Actually, I, I, I'm leaving that up to your characters because you guys didn't see me moving around at all, so right. we're just going off the description. One second. I was muted while I was asking stuff, but uh, I see that there. And uh, the drain focus fills already used slots. It doesn't keep a regular slot from being used. Is that right? Uh, what now? Was there no, a arcane slot? focus? Uh, yeah. Let's you recover a spell that you cast. Okay. So, can never keep track if it was preemptive or not. Rana says, "Dev, I can't tell where you went." You're going to have to come out of invisibility and point it out. Well, just uh, once again via message. Just follow the goblin. Just head to the far wall to your left and go around behind the mirrors. Behind them? Behind them. Okay. And following his example, I'm going to flip up my hood and cast invisibility on myself. And stealthily move behind the mirrors. How am I supposed to follow you if you're invisible too? Look, he said go behind the mirrors. So... Actually, wait, hold on, not there. Shit. I would've went here, and then this way. Okay. I'm gonna try- uh, can I tell where she is? Uh, that would be perception. Okay. Uh, I can see her taking 20 because she is actually invisible. Unless you have a see invisible means. I do not. 
Hold on a second. Where's my character sheet? There it is. What is my perception? Oh, it's not in skills, it's up there. Can I tell where she's at? Uh, what is her stealth bonus? Uh, with the hood up, uh, plus 24. So, so no, 34, not so. even a little bit. Well, I mean, closer than we would have expected, but... Or I guess 44, so it's a take 20. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll just use... What other bonuses invisibility actually gives, but... Okay. I'll just use logic. <laughs> just do it like this. Can you stop me if I mess up? Okay. I'll stop you if something happens. We good? Mm hmm. Alright. Um, just for shits and giggles, I'd like to cast the tech magic one more time. Just get a okay. better, better sense of things around me. The mirrors remain magical. And none of us seem to have any lingering effects from passing through them? Nope. Okay. Well, what now? Um, okay. Let me see. A... Anything that can help with that though work. Alright, cool. I'm uh sneak ahead. Keep out an eye for traps. While keeping an eye on my back. Sounds good. I'm still invisible. Uh Renneth, I understand you can't see us, but just move con continue to move forward. We're going down here. around the corner. I'm gonna pull out my bow. Keep it ready. And stealth down here. Mm. My water! So I might as well just... This will take me a minute. This is kind of big. Uh, this this massive sea cave roars with the sound of water rushing in and out through some subterranean channel. The water crashes some five feet or so below the entry ledge, uh, sometimes powerful enough to kick up spray. Snaking along the wall to the south and east is a ledge that slopes upward, uh, making your way towards the pillar encrusted with sea life rising from the center of the cave. Surrounded by water, its flat top holds a vault-like building made of dark gray metal seemingly not corroded by the wet and salty environment. There's a room How up high there. is the ceiling in here? Oh. And I'm assuming this building does not meet the ceiling. Uh, no. Uh, let's see. That's right. See, flat top pillar in the room center is 20 feet higher than the entrance. Uh, yeah. We'll assume the ceiling is about 10 feet above the top of the vault. Okay. Alright. Move out. Do I sense any traps? See any traps? Uh, from where you are, no. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, still moving stealthily. I'm still invisible. Let me know when a minute has passed up from the time I entered that. Um, we'll assume you have about five rounds from where you are, so we okay. can... Uh, so let's get a, a sense of elevations here. The ground that we're working on now, is this a cliff face or is this at the, the edge of the water? Uh, so this is at the edge of the water. Uh, as it snakes up, uh, let's see. So this is about 15 feet above the water. Uh, this bit in the middle is 20 feet above the water, and then there's basically a 20 foot kind of cube vault thing in the that, or up above that. Okay. So, so there's a, a gradual big... incline as you go around the side. Gotcha. All right, I'm gonna make my way around. All right, so you two are invisible. Uh, Danith, are you sneaking, or what's your... Yeah, I'm sneaking. And I'm gonna move along, assuming that, yeah, that right, that's she's around. moving along. That's a round if I take all three actions to move. And yeah, I have fast sneak, so I can move full speed. Okay, let me check a thing. I'm keeping my eye on this water over here, though. Uh, what is Danith's uh, stealth bonus? 20. Okay. And the gnome? The gnome uh, is flying to the very tippy tippy toppy top ceiling as much as possible, but uh, otherwise he'll be uh, trying to be quiet as well. Okay. Uh, you can go to next round. Okay. I also have pastel, so I'll just be wherever behind her she ends up. There. Two rounds. Three left of invisibility. Um, now that I am here, though, I can see that there's a door. Gavin, there's a door over here! Uh, and at your calling out, something emerges from the depths. Uh, so all of you can use stealth for initiative. Oh boy. Release the Kraken! Oh, oh god. Someone said it. Oh shit, I was joking. <laughs> Is that actually a Kraken? It's got tentacles. Oh, fuck us. I've got tentacles, that doesn't make me a Kraken. Oh dear. Oh, by the way, did we actually get a, a hero point this round? This uh, or two hero points? Uh, yeah, those? you should all be at uh, two. Two, because I feel like we're gonna need that. <laughs> I never used my three from last round, last session. I think they reset every session, don't they? Yeah, they do. I've just yeah. I, I forget to use them sometimes. Yeah, we're or not it never used comes to... up the need to use them. Oh, my, 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 my. Uh, does this count as combat music or dire combat music? Probably the latter. Yeah. It's three of us versus a kraken? Well, I mean, killing a kraken is not necessarily your goal here. No, it's not. Luckily, I'm invisible. Mark. Hmm. What? Nothing. 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 Oh, oh. Let's see. Okay. We, we can hear your music still, buddy. Oh, sorry. I'll turn that off. <laughs> sorry. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. 48 initiative. Holy. Hmm. All right, uh, Kraken 
well, you don't know it's a Kraken, but we'll say it's Kraken, uh, breaks the surface and begins waving tentacles in various directions as it's trying to sniff you out. Uh, Emma. Not letting the shout out again. Um. I think the time has come. I'm gonna pull out and drink my potion of flying. Because I don't want to deal with the water again. You had one uh, of those this entire time. I only had one left. I gave my other one to Mark last session. I'm gonna fly over here to the store. I should have what equipment I have. Alright, that gives me two more rounds of invisibility. Devron. I'm considering, um, because I'm trying to remember some of my class feats here. Um, spell has 30 foot to reach. Uh, okay. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Alright, first things first, I'm gonna cast uh, a heightened version of invisibility on myself so it acts more like greater invisibility. Okay. Uh, sorry, just checking that off on my spell lists here. That's one action. And. Oh, actually, no, that's two. Abilities, material, and somatic. Yeah, most spells are two. Yeah. Just checking. And um, in way of distracting this beast, I'm going to try to launch a... Uh, I can't actually move when I'm doing that. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, just get its attention with some fire. Alrighty. Oh, nice opening. Apparently. Uh, so what does being in the water do to fire? I see it gives you resistance. I don't know. I don't even know how I think you we would... looked this up and it did nothing because it's just something, it was something they didn't cover. No, I'm I mean, pretty sure they did. I've been thinking of something else. So I remember fight, we were fighting that fish thing. Uh, I think you were fighting it like on land and the fish itself didn't have bonuses against that. But. That might be it. Um, open. Well, uh, anyhow, roll, roll your damage again, just so we can see what that will be, because I don't think it'll resist all of it. Ironically, control water would have been really sweet here. <laughs> Just like empty out all the water. Now oh, here we go. Uh, let's see. You gain resistance five to acid and fire. Does the resist effect persistent? Yep. Yeah. Oh, well, that's a little. Okay. Let's burn. So, uh, do you have anything for your third action? That was. That was. Oh. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, Raneth. Uh, um, do I think I can make it across here without being seen? Uh, you won't have any cover. Okay, could I if I make it over here? I mean, effectively. As soon as I move, I'm... At, I'm... at this point, you have no cover. You, you have, like, a little bit of cover from the lip when you're on the thing, but as you're out in the open air, is your trouble. 
I kind of want to... I might be misremembering it, but didn't the new stealth rules say you just had to end in cover? I thought that was for the goblin thing. I think that was stealth in general. Oh, well, we could look at that. Making all the way over there, anyhow. Sneak action of the stealth in the third paragraph blah, 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 at the end of your sneak action. After the third sentence, add the following. If you succeed at your stealth check and then attempt to strike... Oh, no, that's attacking from stealth. Um, well, there's lots of references to stealth in here. Oh, as long as you continue to take sneak action and succeed at your stealth check, you don't become seen if you don't have concealment or cover at the end of the sneak action, as long as you have cover or concealment at the end of your turn. Okay. So in theory, you could get behind there and try and hide. Assuming I made all my sneak actions. Mm-hmm. Okay, and this is a 10-foot jump? Uh, here. It, it's 10 feet. It's also 5 foot vertically higher. Oh. Oh, Okay. It's a good thing I flew. Okay. Oh, you know what? We'll just uh, cape the mountebank. Oh, wait a minute. That sounds good, right? Okay, sure. How far is that? I'm pretty sure the cape is farther than that. By okay. a large so that's one action, right? Uh, I want to see. It's either one or two. I think it's an interact action. Oh, no. Sorry. If the mounty bank is two actions. Ah, okay. So that's two actions to put me right there, and then uh, I will stealth. Can't, like, press myself up against this wall and stealth. You can attempt to, yes. Yeah, I'll give that a go. Do I roll it? You roll it? You roll it. Uh, no, that's right. So plus 20. Okay. And that's me. Alright. It's turn. It, let's see. There, there was fire coming from that direction. So, what is uh, Davrin's stealth bonus? 17, um, plus whatever invisible gives me. Uh, invisible just means you take 20. Oh, is that all now? Ugh. Okay. I, I think that's pretty good. It makes it super consistent. Yeah. It's worse than the plus 20. Mm. It's fine either way. I think it's, it's yeah. alright. I, I think it's fine, yeah. I, I look, there's no bonuses from actual invisibility. It's just a you can't be sensed by normal means. All right. I suspect this thing is not using its eyes to find the things. Um, actually, it is. Fission underwater is notoriously bad. That's why fishes are nearly blind. All right. Uh, it did notice Ranith, however. Going to swim a bit, be under the lip, and you will have cover as a tentacle rakes out at you. That's probably a crit. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is there a double crit? Uh, holy shit. Oh, I guess two tentacles go out at you. Um, both of them are hits. Are both crits? No. Are either of them crits? The first one. Alright, so add... Well, let's see. So a, wow, whole total of 128 damage as two tentacles slam into you. Wow. What the fuck? Bye! Oh. Well, that's one way to resolve that. <laughs> I'm not dead. 
but I'm pretty close. Uh, Emma. Ah, Felicia. All right. Is this? I'm gonna check the store for traps. All right. So that is an action. You. What is your perception bonus? Nineteen. Legendary. If that makes any difference. You do not see any traps. Okay. Um. Uh, take out my skeleton key. Um. This door's probably locked. It's a good idea that it's locked. Um, what is it to just try the doorknob? Is that an action? What is it to what now? Just see if the door is locked. I, I'm going to say that's not even an action. That's like right. a free action as you begin to... Is the door locked? Oh, yeah. Okay, take out my skeleton key. And then, as an action... Hold on, hold on. It's an operate action... spell knocked. Make sure it's not like a till the end of your turn kind of thing. I need okay. you to get this door open. <laughs> oh, it is part as casting knock. Cool. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to cast knock. Um, So that'll give me a plus 29 to my theory. Okay. Do I roll it or do you? Uh, you can roll it. Alright, and you have something that gives you extra successes when picking locks? Yeah, I have a quick, quick unlock. So a critical success is three. Okay, well this is a normal right. success. Um, then the success is two. All right, uh, you have you begun picking the lock. This does not seem like a run of the mill uh, uh, lock. This seems like a horribly complex monster of a lock. Okay, so let me think here. Then. Uh, yeah, because it's an action to pull the key out and actually use it. I use an action to check for traps. That's it. All right. Davrin. I have one more round oh. of invisibility. Wait, what was your persistent damage before? Seven? I think it was seven, yeah. Uh, let's say being in the water probably lowers the DC on that. That is fire. Does not. It is still on fire, though. Enough of it's breaking the surface. Is Mark here? Mark is here, but muted. Um. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not really a combat guy. Um. I've almost got the door open. Though you can't tell from where you're at because I'm invisible on the other side of the building. Yeah. Speaking of, one action to move around a little. Oh god, I forgot my lower movement speed. Uh, fly is 40. 40? If you're stealthing, Dude. it's half that. I'm not gonna bother stealthing, I'm just gonna keep distance right now. Because I'm at the very top of the ceiling right now. I might just be out of its reach. Or at least that's what I, the lie I would like to tell myself. Uh, so from up there, and with my sea invisibility, I can see them tinkering. Yeah. I'm gonna shout out. Step away from the wall! And without even waiting, he's gonna cast a disintegration ray at the corner wall here, uh, near the top of this structure. So it's just making a, a big old hole near the top corner. Okay. Uh, let's see. How does Disintegrate work against magic items? Against magic items? Yes. Uh, let's see, fire, green ray, target, uh, it's all damage, it's all damage. An object you hit is destroyed, no save regardless of hardness, unless it's an artifact or similarly hard to destroy. 
A single casting can destroy no more than a 10 foot cube of matter. It automatically destroys any force constructs such as Wall of Force. Uh, Does not mention anything about magic items being different than regular items. Alright, they don't actually say it's an artifact, so I'm not gonna jump to the conclusion that it is, so you have blasted a hole in this thing. Alright, a ten foot wide hole appears in the top right corner there. You're my goddamn hero. Well, oh, there's your lockpick for you! Oh. Hurry up! I think that's all three of your actions. Uh, that's just two, uh, plus the move, yeah, that's three. Uh, Raneth. We're getting in here. Uh, so inside... Uh... Oh, my other two actions are to retrieve and drink a potion. Oh, okay. Uh, but I would like to look around. <laughs> Add a character, I'm sorry about jumping the gun on that rider, but I didn't think you guys were going to survive another round or two of hanging out there. <laughs> There is a large room filled with many locked coffers and chests. Uh, amid all the treasures on display, the last theorem is not too difficult to find. Uh, it is sitting on a lectern in the northwest corner of the room. Do I see anything that might heal me? Uh, you see various random potions in like one of the locked chests or cabinets. You have no idea what they do. Great. Okay. All right. Uh, In case, yeah, I'll just drink my potion. I know what that one does. This thing's turn. Hmm. It is sniffing around for quite a while. Uh, what is Emma's bonus to stealth? Um, at the moment. 24. All right, tentacles lash out at you. You are, uh, you do have cover from these. Good um, luck. I have that thing that gives me, like, stuff against other senses. Right. If that means any difference. It, it rolled okay. very high. Well then. Yeah, that'll both hit. Uh, um, well, there's a chance. Up, oh, first one fails. Second one uh, does connect. Is that a crit? Yeah, that's ten more than my AC. All right. Uh, Could be worse. I have a feeling it's about so, to grab me though. Seventy-seven damage. Well, it had oh, to spend God. a lot of actions looking for people. So lucky for you. Oh. Oh, well, I forgot. Never mind. Alright. Uh, your that turn. That boats well. <laughs> oh, uh, roll, roll your burning again. Uh, do do do. Uh, now it's still on fire, but seems to resist it all this time. That's fun. It's all just right. a distraction. I have no anticipation of actually killing this thing. I don't think they intend you to. Still invisible. To be fair, they didn't really expect us to kill the lake monster either. <laughs> I'm gonna come inside. Do I see the book? Yeah. Uh, it's um, up in this corner. Alright, so I have more than enough movement to come over here and grab it. Okay. Action to um, grab the book. Then I have one more action, so... I got the book, Renneth! We need to go! I'm gonna fly the fuck out of here. And that is my last round of invisibility, so I now become visible. Alright, Davern. Um, let's see. Just to keep it busy. You see Emma come 
Oh, you could see me anyways. You have Wait, visibility. Wait, is there any chance that there's... Did we figure out whether or not someone can grab you and fly along with you? Because I'm Our... stuck on this island. I thought uh, you used we... the fly thing. He doesn't have fly. I have fly. Oh, well... And there's no I way I can my only you. flying potion earlier. Well, that answers what I'm doing with my round, then. No, I never took your flying potion. You, I think you used it to get over the, the first trap, though. No, I crawled over the ceiling for the first trap. Then you still have your flying potion. Oh. I, I, yeah, because I bought two and gave one to him. I never moved it, did I? Hold on. Oh, I can't move and do that at the same time, though. Oh! Next I wouldn't have taken your flying potion. I already had one. This action economy, man. Um, I guess I still have a flying potion. I just... need haste for. Yeah, I'm starting to see that now. I mean, I'm just so used to the idea of haste on casters being useless. Um. Uh, the drain focus. I can't remember what action economy that is. Uh, I don't think it's much. It might even be free. An arcane focus. Free action. Yes. Sweet. All right. <coughs> Sorry. Hold on. There's cats fighting out my window. They're not mine, though. They do not sound like they're having fun out there. Maybe they're having too much fun? <laughs> nah, probably not. Probably not in this case. It's not the right time of the year for that kind Ew. of stuff, anyways. No, there's a whole lot of hissing and spatting going on out there. Uh, I apologize for hemming and hawing. Magic is sucks when you build 14 out of nowhere. Um... Yep, yeah, fuck it. Why not? I fly over here. Far as corner I can get. And still be able to see the creature. I think that's roughly around here, right? Sure. And just for shits and giggles, we're gonna cast a volcanic eruption under his ass. Alrighty. Uh, let's see, volcanic eruption. As soon as I find you, range 120 feet, area five foot radius, 80 foot tall cylinder. So this is gonna erupt from underneath it and just engulf the thing. Alrighty. Uh, it is a. Save as that. Lava rapidly. Uh, let's see. The ground sprays up and sprays a column of lava high into the air and vertical cinder. If there are creatures in the area, must attempt to reflex save or take the damage. What is your save DC? Save DC is not that high. Don't think it's a critical success, though. Uh, no, my save DC is actually 31. That's higher than I thought it was. And you're not a specialist, so you didn't have that one feed. Hmm? You're, you're not a specialist wizard, are you? I am not. I'm a, I'm a okay. universalist. So you... Okay. Um, yeah, so I don't get a, a bonus when using Arcane Drain or anything. Uh, uh, oh! Damage. Actually, I do have Spell Penetration, though. Which reduces conditional bonus to saves by one. Does that matter? Uh, no. Damn. Worth a shot. Alright, so, let's see, on a, on a success, half and half damage, 13d6, half that, 24 points of fire damage. Which it resists a little bit. Yeah, and it is not encased in rock. And is that all your actions? 
Uh, that is move and somatic and verbal. So yes. All right, Raneth. One second, I'm seeing if I can jump this fucking chasm. Whoop, uh, okay. Just, just fly, dude. Up five feet. I don't have a... I know it got so, you somewhere. From here to here is a 20-foot drop. From here to here? Yeah. Okay, so what distance would I be jumping effectively, given that it's 20 feet down? Uh, I mean, you jump horizontal distance. I think you have catfall for the way down. Right. But I'm jumping, I'm not jumping straight across, I'm jumping in a parabola, so. It looks like 25 feet. Okay, because I'm starting at high. All right, all right, okay. I'll give you a circumstance bonus for being higher. Uh, so, what are my chances on that? Slim to fucking none? I don't think vertical or horizontal jumps are all that hard. Uh, I'd need a 15 or higher unless I've got a skill. Yeah. Let's see. Athletics. Long jump. Five plus the total distance, so you need a DC thirty. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying. I don't, I don't have any skill feats for that because you were supposed to be socially built. Well, and for infiltration. Too bad you already used your cape. It is too bad I already used my cape. Okay, um, this thing's not slapping tentacles in here or anything, is it? Uh, I mean, they've been flailing around at you and various allies of yours. What, how, how long would it take me to try and identify some, like, things in the room? Things? Yeah, you said there was a cabinet full of potions, like... Oh, uh... would have you... to be labeled, or... Uh, if you don't have the skill feed, it takes 10 minutes to try and figure out what a magic item is. Okay. If you do have the skill feed, it takes one minute. Is, is him kind of looking back and forth, uh, looking a little panicked, visible to me where I am? Like, can I tell he's struggling? Probably. I mean, unless he wants to hide it. Nope. Full on if, panic mode. If so, Ronith! Hang tight! I'll be there shortly! I'll get you out! Don't draw attention to yourself! <laughs> Stop. Wait, I'm not gonna shout. That would be bad. Um, okay, the other thing is, yeah, I have no idea what happened to that potion of flying. I had a potion of flying, it's on my character sheet, but it's not in the... I think what it is is you deleted it because you tried giving it to me and I did not take it. That could be. Are we good with that? I'll get just, just a, a little closer! Get okay. Just get a little closer! Alright, so an action to retrieve the potion, an action to drink the potion, and it's 40 feet, right? Right. I'll go right there. Oh, he was fine all along. Had me worried. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, so I believe Davern is the only one invisible at this point. Um, he took hostile actions. Well, right. Yes, greater, but I have, I have the greater up. Oh, okay. Yeah, then he's the only one invisible at this time. This is where we find out how fast the Kraken can move. Yeah. That fast. That's the that's frightening. <laughs> Only forty. Uh, no creature that large should move that fast. <laughs> it's in the water. Still. Oh, uh, you can roll some burning if you want. Um, sure. Why not? Uh, 
Plus some calamari at the end of this, we'll all laugh. Alright, uh, let's see. One will be Raneth, two will be, uh... No! Oh, from that far away. Oh. Yeah. What? Oh, wait, wait, it's got two actions remaining. Never mind. Uh, so, what? uh, Emma. And that. does the oh, 45 wait. crit you? What the hell? He can hit me from 40 feet away? Yeah, they got a lot of reach with that. What the fuck? Oh, so was that second thing at me, or...? No, no. That, that's all at her. <laughs> okay! <laughs> for, for, for you. Um... I'm gonna use my reaction... to half that damage. Well, it's, uh... Four, two two sets of damage. The first one did seventy eight. The second one did uh, sixty nine. Okay, that's five. Okay, hold on. First one did um, seventy eight. See, Raneth. Yeah, you're good twice matter. as well. I'm I'm at zero. Oh, you might. It doesn't even matter. Like, yeah, it's, I'm super dead. Well, you're unconscious. I'm, I'm at zero. I don't know how that affects. Uh, if you're zero, you're unconscious. Uh, and since it was via crits, both of you are at dying two. Yeah. And we were flying. Uh, yeah, so what happens when you're unconscious and flying? I, I would think we would start to plummet to the ground. Um, I'm not sure this was 20 feet up, you said? So, we're what, 20 feet from the water? So, I guess you sploosh into the water. Okay, take the fall damage for that because I'm not awake to, to uh, fucking catfall it. Falling into water work. Yikes. 2020 hindsight, we probably could have taken our time and invised everyone, flew everyone, <laughs> blew a hole in the wall, been gone, and get in and get out. <laughs> so, yes, hindsight being 2020 and all. Uh, I'm just... the, the water is actually deep enough that you don't, that it absorbs the fall, so at least that's not a problem. Okay, um, question from the... Ah, see. Mark already handled it. From the stream. Is this the new modification of the Kraken, or is it the old original version? Oh, is there a... Hmm. Well, let me see if there's a different version. <laughs> Howdy, Dalvin. You may have uh, saved them or doomed them to hell. We'll see. Not seeing any... Let me, see. let me check the previous update. And for reference, guys, that teleport scroll that we got, it's 10 minute cast. They suggested to apply the weak template to it. Oh. <laughs> eh, well, I, I, th I think you could pull this out, actually. Okay. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well, remember, you, 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 so that you got uh, hero points. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's right. I could have used my hero points to effectively stay at 1 HP, huh? Uh-huh. Um, that's oh. two hero points? Yep. Can I do that retroactively? Sure. Thank you. I will choose to not do that for reasons <laughs> known only to myself. <laughs> Alright. Um... Uh, so, Davern, it is your turn. Oh, I thought it was my turn. Oh. oh, wait, I guess you never drop below zero, or do you drop below zero and then come back? Uh, hero points was on page, what? 300? Well, they gotta look I mean, at the I guess it's just whether or not you go before or after Davern. Um, oh, it's only one hero point to stave off death. Um, oh. 
the, to lose the dying condition entirely, even if it's increased dying condition would otherwise cause you to die. If you have zero hit points, you would also go to one hit point. Okay, so you do go to zero and then back to one. So, right. Daffron, it's your turn. Okay. Okay. Uh, Davern is going to cast Mislead, which will create a, an illusionary duplicate of himself. That is going to go visible and go run off somewhere else. On the other side of the map, right? Basically. Like over here, go away. There is fake Davern. Yep. Uh, fake Davern is going to appear. Uh, <laughs> spells. Why did I fucking do this to myself? Um. Cursing is to lose your duplicate yourself when you cast your spell. Command like dictating. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just uh, double checking if it appears on me or at a range. And it looks like it. It's on myself. So that's gonna sp that's gonna split off. Create an illusion duplicate yourself. When you concentrate on the spell, you can mentally dictate a course of action for your duplicate to follow that round. You can access though it had your full number. All right, so it's just gonna stay put. But I'm gonna move with my last action. Uh, this is such a pain in the ass. Hold on. I've. Getting overhead of them. I am still at the ceiling. But fake Davern is uh, sitting right there. Okay. Uh, Emma? Alright. Uh, there's no withdraw action in this, huh? All you can do is just take the uh, first step. You could take multiple guarded steps. Alright. If you wanted to. Emma, take multiple guarded steps. Here, here, and here. <laughs> All right. Um, are there like rocks here? If I was to go here, like, is um, there a way that I could hide? I mean, you could go below the water if you wanted to. That sounds like a stupid idea. So I'm just gonna go here and press myself against the wall. Took my three actions to guard a step three times. All right, uh, Ranith, I believe you're. Drowning. I don't know if being unconscious affects drowning in this system. Let me find out. I guess you make a fortitude save. Alright. Uh, so you're not any worse. You're still dying too. Uh, I guess then you make another fortitude save to... not have that just increase. I have what increase? Uh, you're, you're dying from being tentacled. Oh, okay. From being tentacled. Yep. Uh, I need to look up something unrelated. So it's turn. Uh, it's going to it begin by lashing out at your illusion. Does that destroy the illusion? Uh, let's see. If you cast a spell. Creature that determines a duplicate is an illusion doesn't necessarily know you're invisible. And it doesn't fool anyone's aware of you. Um... Doesn't say it does. 
I imagine it would work like it used to, where if it hits it, it gets a save to disbelieve it. But mislead? Mislead, Probably get yeah. some trait on it that references something just, else. Just says illusion. Uh, also, hell smart at cracking. <laughs> That's a good question. I, I think they're fairly intelligent, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna say that after making attacks against it, it realizes that they're going right through it. Okay. Would it uh... understand after just one attack, or would it be swinging at it for a full round? Well, it's going to spend its one action there. Okay. It doesn't think you're that uh, hard to... And then it lashes out at the real you. And let's see. I mean, obviously it hits. 41, uh, 41 is my crit range. And your invisibility saves you. Sweet! And it is your turn. Um, getting the fuck out. <laughs> we really have no uh, ties to this guy. Sorry, buddy. Uh, as Ranith dies below us, effectively falls beneath the surface of the waves, uh, he just calls out, Don't worry, I don't think he was the real one anyway. <laughs> one guarded step to get just a little further away. And I'm going to use the free action focus from... Oh, fuck me. I can't do that shit. God damn it. I should have got it back. Yeah. One minute. One moment. One moment. Oh, uh, at this point, the entire chamber begins to shake. Uh, I don't think either of you are on the ground at the moment, though. Mm, I'm, oh, we're I'm, both I'm, flying. Yeah. Okay. Thankfully. Um... I don't have anything that would even inconvenience this thing. Um, check something really quick. What the fuck? Hold on. Sorry, looking things up. Uh, looking at the spell. Uh, Earthbind to see if it would do anything other than against flying things. It's not flying, it's swimming. I know, that's what I'm saying. If it would do I'm checking to see if it does anything other than against flying things. Uh yeah, it's just against flying things. Alright. Just for shits and giggles, because it's a playtest. Why not? Using a meta magic to extend range to 60 feet instead of 30 feet, he's going to cast a heightened sleep spell. All right. And you have something that reduces conditional bonuses to saves? Yes, by one. By one, okay. Spell penetration. So this is actually going to be one higher. <laughs> Fortune rolls a 19. It was worth a try. That's a critical success. Nothing. Uh, is that all three of your actions? Uh, it is. All right, Emma. I got the buck. Run! Get out of here. What action? 
Don't forget the mirrors! Smash that yeah. first one! Uh... I'm going to come here. I'm Pacific... I wonder, though, if a tentacle could reach me around the fucking corner. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. Don't I'm risk it. I'm gonna go up a little bit more. I'm gonna come up a little bit more! This is when you drink uh, your super mega ultra big potion. Yeah, uh, but it's gonna take an action to pull it out, so I gotta wait till next round to drink it. Oh, it does? So. Yeah. Right? It takes us an action to pull stuff out of our bag of holdings? I believe so. Oh, yeah, right. I'm okay. gonna move up here. It's gonna All right. Uh, so Mark. Yeah. I mean, uh, re regular. Didn't crit. <laughs> There's that. Uh, well, you're dodging so far. Okay, second one uh, got you for 43. Okay. Uh, then spins in action to grab you. Of course it does. Fucking tentacle, what were you expecting? I mean, we, uh -huh. it hadn't so far. Well, it had been spending a whole bunch of actions trying to find you before. It's got a 50 foot reach. I mean, I was still invisible, no, no. so it's, it's still got a find 60 us. foot reach. What uh, the actual fuck? <laughs> Why did it bother moving ever? To be fair, uh, guys, because it's there the, were things in the way. It's the Kraken, guys. It's made of long ass tentacles. Uh, it then uh, squeezes you, so you take another twelve damage and must make a fortitude save. Oh, that's not good. All right. Uh, it basically squeezes the air out of you. Oh, fun! And it's your turn. Probably means I can't cast, right? Uh, what is your constitution score? Uh, total score is 18. Uh, so you effectively have, uh, is it dragon? No, I guess it has to spend an action. No, uh, you, you just have the, you're, you're very short of breath. If it was to drag you underwater at this point, you would not be doing so good. Okay. Oh, I'd have had a macro for that. Oh, so for Go shits down. and giggles, I went and looked up Kraken in the original Pathfinder. And yeah, it has a 60-foot reach with two of its arms. Yeah, the Kraken is like a fucking godly creature you never, ever actually want to encounter. Mm-hmm. Um, I really don't have spells to help with this. Do you have acrobatics? It's the Kraken. I mean, also, I'm a wizard. You know, you know um, on the off chance that, so he's being gripped by this tentacle, right? Uh huh. So that's the only thing keeping him from freedom. So he's yep. going to try to wiggle his hands in front of him and just point at the the base of the tentacle holding him and just concentrate on a sickly dark black green ray hoping to sever the tentacle. Okay. And naturally that's one I don't have macroed, so hold on. You don't uh, have your disintegrate macro, despite this, the fact that you've used it over and over and over again. Uh, to be fair, the only times I've used it is when I didn't need to roll it. <laughs> I've only used it against uh, objects so far. Uh, let's see, range touch attack. Which doesn't mean anything anymore. I mean, that's literally what it says, range touch attack. But... Um, So that's 14 plus dex, which is 3, 14, 15, 17. It's just a plus 17? I guess so. Level plus, uh, you get to add your spellcasting proficiency, it's another one. Okay, so. 20 plus. 14 plus 3 plus 1. That hit touch AC. It narrowly dodges you. 
You mother... The tentacle is just a little too wiggly. Motherfucker. Uh, anything for your last action? <sighs> Gently weep. Alright. Uh, um, oh. I'm, uh, I'm just double checking this. Uh, pull an item out. God forbid. Okay. Emma? I'ma drink my potion! You got two more actions. I do have two more actions. That doesn't seem like my buddy's coming back, though. I've got the book, though. I'm gonna put the book in my bag of holding. Okay. And then I'm gonna recast invisibility on myself, because Cloak of Elvenkind doesn't have any limits on the number of times you can do it. I'll eventually run out of resonance. Yeah, eventually. But yes. <laughs> I'm gonna just uh, get the fuck out. But that's the uh, end of my turn. Kraken's turn. <laughs> uh, so it spins an action dragging you underwater. Okay. Oops, that's not you. Uh, let's see. Sorry, Mark. No, yeah, that's fine. So it'll spend an action swimming up to be near you. Uh, and then it will continue to constrict. It doesn't just swallow me whole at this point. <laughs> Uh, that's that. It's tactic as far as I can tell. So another fortitude. And what was your constitution score? Total of eighteen. Okay. So you are down to seven actions. Okay. And uh, you did take the twelve damage, right? Uh, I will now. All right. So you are currently underwater, with the breath being squeezed out of you. Alright, if I'm going down, I'm taking it with me. Uh, I'm gonna give it if some... If you use any verbal actions, all of your remaining air goes away. Your items. Okay. I... Uh, this is flavor. I don't expect it to actually do anything to him. I am wearing a very high-level necklace of fireballs. Alrighty. I want to take the whole fucking thing off and prep it. Sure. Uh, Emma. We'll, we'll handle yours as like a ready to action effectively. Okay. Uh, using the same pattern we did before, but backwards. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Because I'm still flying. That's two actions. All right. Um, gobble, uh, gobble, so motherfucker. Gonna chomp down on you. Uh, is there anything in there for using? I mean, what's the the total output of your thing? Holy shit! And is there like a save DC? DC thirty. DC thirty. Damn. I mean, it can actually make that because yeah, it's preposterous. Uh, does not critically succeed though. <laughs> <laughs> you just oh. gave it indigestion. Oh yeah, I'm hoping to blow its beak off or something. Is it still burning, or did it save against that? It, it saved against that a couple rounds ago. Uh, uh I never assumed it. Actually. If nothing else, I'm gonna teach this kraken that gnomes are not fun to eat. I'll be perfectly happy for this thing to have, like, a scar or, like, a cracked beak or some other, like, blow an eye out or some other lasting scar. It critically failed to bite you. <laughs> uh, well, it's going to constrict you for another 12. And, well, I mean, uh... I took all that damage, too, you know. <laughs> Oh, that's true. Uh, that's so a big-ass fireball. <laughs> I made the save, though. It's only oh, 130. You, you, <laughs> well, remember, you, you resist 5 because you're underwater. 125. So one got So minus 130. I get 5 back for being underwater. Uh -huh. And I get 5 back because I had that Aegis of energy protection stuff on me. Sure. So I'm only at negative uh, 63. 
All right. Uh, I suppose we can go out of initiative unless you want to continue trying to live. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> uh, let's see. So just for your edification, uh, that's about how far you got it. Yeah, I... I not too bad. Shit. Hey, I, half damage. I'll take it. Half damage uh, against so Amra, the Kraken. What yeah. Are you, you're, you're continuing to... I'm just gonna what? get the fuck out. I'm invisible. I'm just gonna fly the fuck out of here. Alright, show me your path. Okay. There's a flaw in your path and how it worked before and how it's not gonna work this time. Why? Nothing is moved. You have. And okay. she's invisible. Yeah. Okay. Invisible. That's uh, two movements. Keep going. Um, actually, hold on. I'm not there. Eh, that's three. Okay. Oh, the portals. Alright, okay. you don't have anything to throw now. Oh, well, you got a body. I do got a body. <laughs> And it doesn't take a throw. whole lot of doesn't take a whole lot of work to make that multiple pieces of a body. <laughs> and he's got stuff on him. He right? eluded most of his stuff. Oh, that's right. Um, all right. <laughs> I'm a I'm a throw him at the middle portal. All right, it bounces off. Oh shit! What's the pattern again? Wait, it bounces that, towards her. Yeah. Oh, we'll just slam yourself. Uh, no, no, no help in her. No, no, no this, <laughs> this is all on the goblin. This is all on the goblin. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to throw it down here since it, it came back. It bounces off. Uh... <laughs> do you never do logic problems as a child? No, I did not. I'm going to go through this portal. <laughs> this Which one? one? No, you're not. One. Did I uh, bounce? Nope, she goes through it. Oh. Hey! Oh, okay. okay, so, hold on. Forty. That's one movement. Two movements. Is the door still closed? Uh, no. Can we close it? Okay. Unless you so, closed it. I don't remember if we did or not. Either way. I'm curious. And now, I am invisible and I am flying, but I'm gonna wait here, like stop my turn here, okay. and then the next turn, fly straight across. <laughs> um, if I remember correctly, we did lock this door. Right. Um, uh, hang on a second. Okay. If you trigger this thing, that's the end of I, this adventure. Yeah, I am invisible. E yeah. All oh, right, you managed to narrowly dodge uh, a tentacle. <laughs> now is the fun part. Um, I'm just going to unlock the store. All right. Uh. Using my key and knock. Um, I don't know if it's because I previously unlocked. I don't know if I have to roll again. Oh, you want me there's, to? there's like failing is not. Well, I guess you okay. could critically fail and lose picks. So go ahead. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. St um, stealthily, invisibly, step out. Like All barely, right. barely open the door. There's it's maybe, like, uh, a couple guards look at the door, but they don't look like they're looking at you. Alright, and then just get the fuck out. I have a feeling my fly is done by now, but... Sure. I'm gonna just... I'm gonna just walk. Uh, you, you hear more rumbling and a bit of a crash from uh, this direction. Okay. Which direction? Sure. Sorry, wrong layer. Through the wall. Okay. <laughs> Through the wall. Yeah. Ah. And there's a bit of a commotion. And you escape. Hey! I go bring the book to whoever I'm supposed to bring it to. Oh man, the devils don't see through invisibility in this game. Um. Would she care? Probably not, <laughs> but. 
She could look. Uh, if she sees see. me, I'll wave to her. Because there's fuck all, if anything, you can do about it. Right? <laughs> Hi! Let's see. Uh, uh, nope. Not by default. Huh. Nice. They really uh, lessened demons and devils. At least for their in innate chef. My stealthy... Don't care about the fuck the rest of you goblin got the fuck out of here. <laughs> Do you take your goblin friend with you? <laughs> <laughs> with 37 hit points. Yeah. So, so what's intended to happen is you unlock the door to the vault, and unless you critically succeed at one of the unlock checks, you don't notice the failsafe, uh, which is collapses this entire area, um, and you're basically and locks the door again, so you're submerged underwater in this vault. Oh god! Trying to get out from the inside. Oh god! For shits and, and giggles. Joe, Joe, uh, your character is technically alive. Yeah. <laughs> Thirty-seven. Hmm? Would that would that have? If well, you didn't critically succeed. Right for the time. for the key, thirty-seven. Would that have done anything? It would have succeeded, but not critically succeeded. And okay. And you need a total of five successes to get through that one. Oh, of course. So I need one more after that. Yeah, it's a tough lock. Thirty-four. And that one that would have opened it, but you still wouldn't have noticed the trap until too late. Yeah. And then you get to try and unlock it from the inside as you're underwater. <laughs> All right, so Mark, it's okay, buddy, that you blew open the wall. <laughs> so I'm guessing that Raneth is in a mural world or something. Yep. Hey, you were supposed yeah. to smash a mirror on your way out. Yep. Well, he is forever lost in the mirror dimension. All I, all I heard was smash a mirror, and. She's a goblin, and big bad things were after her. So she said, fuck that. Well, lucky lucky plan with the invisibilities, though. He wasn't able to do much to you. <laughs> yeah. Well, the reason I went invisible is because Mark's character used message to me and told me, hey, something's up with him. It's like, all right, cool. Bye. If, uh... I, I made a... I, I was trying to decide on whether she had self-preservation or not, and I was like, yeah, she's probably excited about being, you know, a thing, so she's not going to throw the book in the water. She's going to drink her potion. Hmm. I mean, she really doesn't care one way or another about the book. Other than it would have killed the party, knowing that oh. they were there. That's true. I was, um... Like, when Mark said that something was wrong with you, I half expect you to do something, like, here-ish. Just try and, to stop like, us. Like, and backstab, backstab yeah. someone or something. So, the, right. the Kraken is a level 18 monster. Yeah. 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 I, I was not... I mean, it's within the realm of possibilities if we were more combat-focused, but a right. group of rogues... No, no. It, it's supposed to be there just to add extra pressure to you grabbing I, the book. Yeah. Uh, I think we we definitely fell towards uh, impatience on this one. The second half, we were just kind of like rushing through. It's like, oh, it's mirrors. Let's just go around them. Okay. Instead of figuring them out or getting rid of the obstacle. I think we would have been okay if I hadn't looked directly into a mirror. Actually, I think I would have died. So I'm actually better off looking into the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Well, as soon as he, Out of as soon as he... what does the weak template do? Yeah, what does that do? I don't call it doing that much. Let's see. Why you looked that up? I'm gonna run to the restroom. I will be right back. Okay. Is that DMG or Beastiary, or where do you find that? Uh, it's Beastiary. Week. Uh, AC, most of its bonuses are decreased by two. D 
damage decreased by two. Yeah, that would have made a fucking HP difference. decreased by twenty. Yeah, it no. wouldn't have made a huge difference. No. Maybe it would if it reduced like, its it would, saves. Maybe one extra round. If it reduced its saves, it might have made a difference. Like it, it like it just made minutes. that sleep DC. Well, what's a, a normal failure do? Is that like a couple rounds or? Ah, uh, it's like a minute for the heightened version. Like sleep, oh, it is. like heightened sleep is beefy. It's oh, I have it macroed. Hold on. Oh, you have it right there. You just scroll up a little. Sleep for one round on a failure, one minute on a crit failure. So even even mm -hmm. if it just fell asleep for one round, like that's all we needed. We're just trying to get out of there. Oh, only one round. Huh. It, it's not meant to be a combat spell. Anymore. <laughs> hmm. Well, I mean the the lower level version. I mean one minute. That's pretty damn good. Yeah, but it doesn't make you fall or drop anything or drop items or fall prone and you st and you wake up like a normal person would at the sound of combat around you. Ah, okay. But you that still make sense. perception checks to wake up. It's the heightened version that just makes you straight up sleep. Well, I mean, even with... I mean, you're all rogues. It's not like there's combat going around if it's sleeping. True. Um... But yeah, like, even just getting one round out of this thing would have made all the difference in the world. So, I figured. Shot in the dark. Any I other questions about the module? Um, and, and do, you, do you want to explain the portal to the other two? That <laughs> yeah, so... Quite figure it out. I, all right, I so I've seen this... Portal. I've seen it before. It, it, it's a shifting portal. Yeah, every time something goes through it, the portal moves to the south one, yep. and then it goes back up yep. to the top. Yeah. Though I have to admit, I was, I was giggling at Ryder, getting very confused by it. <laughs> I was like, no, it's just, oh, this is going to be so bad. <laughs> the, the usual thing I see with this particular kind of puzzle is just which direction it shifts. The shift to the south, or is the shift to the north? <coughs> that that was what got me in the first place. Also, I didn't know if it shifted only when something went through or when something bounced. Yeah, I'm back. Okay. Uh, the, so, the hilarious add-on I like to this one is if you have someone in the party who is really terrible at Arcana, you can use that to use the Monty Hall problem to your advantage. <laughs> yeah, so you assume that they will critically fail and play you a wrong one. Oh, well, that's an interesting <laughs> take on it. I still have a problem with these DCs because uh, they're not set flat. Like for some reason, these particular walls are more difficult to climb than normal stone walls elsewhere. Which walls are you talking about? The ones in here. It was a uh, it was a twenty nine failed. Uh, you mean, I mean, you were up in the pillar room up here? Maybe those, yeah. It may have been those. Uh, well, that one was specifically because water was, a wave was hitting you. That has a specific DC. Oh, I didn't I mean, fail. I was talking about Ryder trying to, like, jump across these things. Oh, well, they're just very slippery. Yeah. Mold. Mildew. Nastiness. Just straight wet. Seaweed. Wet stone. Slippery. Sure. <laughs> but, I mean... Yeah, okay. Alright, uh, just for the stream purposes, for those of us joining us this evening, thank you as always for putting up with our special brand of bullshit. We do appreciate you putting up with us, especially as we spend a good chunk of the session looking up rules. Like certain wizards. Not at all. Um, but yeah, so we'll be doing the next segment, whatever it may be called, next week. That is when the stars go dark. When the stars go dark. That doesn't sound ominous at all. Um, but yeah, so we'll be back next week, and hopefully we will be finished with this thing. Probably two sessions, I'm guessing, right, Dan? Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. So yeah. At least, definitely two, possibly three. Oof. Okay. So, Depends. yeah, back to the original party next session. Yes. Till then. 
Bye, everyone. Bye. So here you go.